speaking of Persona 5 music. Uh, I do believe it's time to read more of this storybook, actually. So last time, in case you weren't around for it, what happened was is Hades and Meg went to a went to a local club or restaurant. Sorry, it was a restaurant, not a club. And um, Hades tasked Meg with seducing somebody in the room, and Hades picked a waiter. Later, it was found out that, that waiter was Hercules. And before Meg could get a chance to talk to him, he already clocked out of his shift, went to the employee break room. Meg scurried behind him and uh, kind of coaxed him into waiting uh, with him for, or waiting with her for a taxi to arrive. Unfortunately, there was no taxi and she just wants to fuck him. So moving on to chapter three. Meg. I mean, I, I realize now that these chap these chapters are just from different people's perspectives of what's going on, and this chapter is a bit bit, bit of a big, bit of a big one, a uh, bit hefty. But in contrast to that, the one after it is way shorter. So, I guess without further ado. Sorry, give me one second. I have to adjust my mic. Hang on, I, I moved it earlier. Buttony, welcome to the stream as well. And I... Oh. For sure, I'll definitely have fun. There we go. I have to make sure I had some reading light as well. Alright. I had a plan going into this, but Hercules has smashed into pieces with his really strong, muscular strength. It doesn't say that, I just added that for fun. This man, with his kind eyes and sweet smile, he's nothing like I expected. He kisses me like it's the main event, as if we never have to go farther than this. Because he can't get enough of my mouth on his. And through it all, I can feel Hades' presence. Even if he's not in the room. Hercules. What a fucking name. Hercules. Fitting in its way because he's built like a Greek statue. Oh, this guy actually isn't... Oh, so he has no affiliation with Hercules at all. He's just got the name. His golden hair is cropped short. And his... Oh, shit. Hang on. Oop. There we go. All right. His golden hair is cropped short, and his eyes are so blue they take my breath away. Especially with how he's looking at me now. Like, he can't believe this is happening. And he must be the luckiest man alive. His shoulders flex beneath my grip. And I can't wait to get him out of this shirt to see if he's as defined as, it, as he seems. In fact, that seems like an excellent idea. I nip his bottom lip hard enough that he gasps going a little melty against me. I spare a thought to wondering if Hades knew this man had a masochistic streak. It wouldn't surprise me. Hades always seems to know when someone around him is harboring a kink. Or twelve. I tug on Hercules's... his what? his what? his shirt. And he allows me to pull it over his head. I sit back and just look at him. Hang on. You call me beautiful, but you're the beautiful one. His golden cheeks go a little pink, and he bites his bottom lip in the same place I did just now. Oh, this guy is too much. I lean in and soothe the spot with my tongue. Tell me what you want. Okay, because of, um, because I now have a different Hades voice, I'm gonna fucking do the other Hades voice. Or Hercules, so this might be a little different if you're watching this in, like, in sequence. Bye. He's going to hold back. I can already tell. I grab his wrist and press his hand to my thigh, right over my tattoo. Not the polite version. Not what you think I want to hear. Tell me what you want right now, in this moment, more than anything else. Hercules' gaze drops to my mouth, and then lower to where his hand brackets my thigh. 
I want to taste your pussy. My <laughs> <laughs> My whole body goes hot and tight. He says he's not pure, but there's something almost innocent in the way he allows me to lead this. Submissive. Yes. But it's more than that. I want to dirty him right up. I guide his hand beneath my dress and catch my breath as he palms me between his thighs. He makes a sound, he makes a sound suspiciously like a growl. No panties, Meg. I don't like them. Fuck, neither do I. He doesn't try anything, letting me lead this, submitting. All the tangled feelings from dinner with Hades burn to ash in this moment. Damn him, but he's right. This is exactly what I need tonight. I lean back against the arm of the couch. Take what you want. He looks at me for a long moment, as if he's not sure this is a trap. I roll my hips a little, rubbing myself against his palm. It snaps him out of it. He moves down my body so he can shove my dress up to see my pussy. I... <laughs> This is going a little off the deep end. The, I like how chill the music is. Really um, subverting the situation. The look on his face. I would pay an absurd amount of money to have a picture of this moment. To keep it locked away. And bring out whenever I need a bump. Deco. Deco, welcome to the stream. Thick Herc. Herc is a little bit thicker in this book. Herc. <laughs> Herc is, uh, Herc is about at least several chapters thick, if you know what I mean. But Diga, how's it going? Uh, he looks at my pussy like he's found a treasure he's spent his life chasing. And then he's on me, dragging his tongue down from my clit over my pussy, spreading me to get lower yet. And then moving me back up to flick my clitoral hood piercing. Hades has rarely wrong. Hades is rarely wrong about these kinds of things, but I'm still almost shocked by his enthusiasm. Yeah, Deco, it's one of, um, it's one of these books. But, you know, keep in mind this is about, this is about Hades, God of the Underworld, Meg, you know, and, um, Hercules, you know, you know, Zeus's son or whatever. So, like, you know, keep that in mind. You know, eyes forward. He fucks me with his tongue. Growling, I can't go from what I just said into that line. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Growling against my flesh, even as he drives my pleasure relentlessly higher. Not quite high enough yet. Hercules! He shifts gears, moving up to my clit and sucking hard as he shoves two fingers into me with enough force to lift my hips off the couch because he's really strong, right? Because he's really strong, yeah? Because he has the strength of a mountain? Right? Yeah, fucking sure. <laughs> anyway. Oh, fuck! I look down and find him watching me closely, gauging my reactions. He holds my gaze as he does it again, fucking me with his fingers and giving my clit long pulls that have my toes curling and my eyes rolling back into my head. How did this get so out of control? When did I become the seduced, rather than the seducer? Wait, wait, wait! He immediately lifts his head, though he doesn't remove his fingers from the dirty- Oh, he doesn't remove his fingers, the dirty boy. Uh, did I hurt you? No, nothing like that. I prop myself up on my elbows and try to think of the pleasure that is pulsing, uh, of that pulsing thing he's doing with his fingers against my G-spot. I need... A god. That feels so good. I, it would be the easiest thing in the world to let him make me come like this. It's weird that it's spelled... Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> He's got that straight Herculade coming right out. Watch out, Ego. You're in the splash zone. But I know how to read a man. And this one will make me orgasm hard enough to see stars. Then he'll fix my dress, and call me a car, and send me home. He's got that kind of selflessness 
uh, martyrdom written all over him. Not tonight. I push him on his shoulders until he sits back and then, oh, until he sits back and then crawl into his lap and claim his mouth for another kiss. I can taste myself on his tongue and hell, if that doesn't make me hotter, I've always loved this shit. <laughs> More like a carrot. So, Deco, that's, uh, that's something I should probably mention, right? So, this, it, it, picture this in, like, a New York City setting. Like, Hercules has moved out of his parents' house, which I would assume is Mount Olympus. Okay, I can only assume he moved out of Greece. And he went to a place that sells ramen. Now, I don't know what happened to his huge fortune, because he had lots of money, obviously, when he was the gladiator. And he seems to have gotten rid of that all. <laughs> it's set in the underworld. Why is Hercules working as a as a as a waiter <laughs> in a restaurant in the underworld? Hang on. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Oh yeah, and he's got a mobile phone too. Keep that in mind. Um. Daddy don't pay the bills. Hercules is on his own. You can see him being a gigolo. <laughs> you fucking would be a gigolo too. Wait, no, sorry. Do you mean gigolo or gigolo? Because, uh... <laughs> I don't want to get the dictionary out here, Deco. Because, uh... Gigolo might be a little bit different. I'm going to assume you mean gigolo. Anyway. Uh, Meg, you don't have to take care of me. His hand is between my thighs again, parting my pussy and delving deep. Uh, I want to make you cub. You will. I'm, oh, I'm doing a bit of delving of my own. Normally I pride myself on seduction techniques. I can have a person on the verge of orgasm just by undressing them when I'm feeling inspired. I love to hold off and tease until pleasure becomes pain, becomes pleasure again. I have none of that finesse tonight. Deuce, Deuce Bigelow. <laughs> Dude, fucking Hercules the Bigelow Gigolo. Better watch out. I was, I was gonna follow that up, but I don't know if I should. But then again, I'm also reading this book. You could be a Piccolo too, the Piccolo Gigolo. Oh man, that's a big Bigelow. <laughs> Fuck, Diego. <laughs> Anyway, I need him inside me, and I need it now. My hands actually shake as I yank open his pants and reach inside for his cock, and oh god, he's even bigger than I anticipated. I, I need you. He catches my wrist, a frown marrying his perfect blonde eyebrows. Does Hercules have blonde eyebrows? Yeah, you can call that blonde. You, you, you don't have to. Hercules! I fight his hold to give him a rough stroke that makes a muscle tick in his jaw. Uh, I want to ride your cock. I want you deep and hard inside me. And I want us both to come like that. When he doesn't release me, I go in for the kill. Let me fuck you, Hercules. Now! Just like that, he's mine. He manages to get his pants off, totally dislodging me. But it's fine. I'm too busy yanking off my dress to care about the awkwardness of this. Ten years of playing with Caver, Caver City's sexual elite. See, I haven't watched the movie. Oh, I don't remember the movie, so I don't know uh, if Caver City's a real place in the underworld. I'm just going to assume it is. And I'm bubbling over myself like a teenager. PW, welcome to the stream, the, the hot and sweaty stream. Pulls you under your bags. It's just what, just what Hercules would do. I still like to believe that some ounce of his strength is still there. Like he's still, like, this. You know, is he? Is he? He's a demigod, right? This Greek demigod. All right. I still like to believe he's able to lift up this whole restaurant with a pinky finger, but you know, he chooses not to. I guess. I. I <laughs> 
No, I'm getting getting distracted. Hang on, let me let me get back to the big uh big stuff here. Big big fucking holy shit, speaking of big, this whole page is gonna be real fucking big in a second. I dig through the decorative cabinet next to the couch and find a condom. Wow, that what what was that doing there? This is apparently like a condo that the owners apparently the owners of the restaurant had. How did you know that was there? He raises his, his eyebrows at that, but doesn't comment as I rip the packet open and roll it onto his cock. Um, I don't know who's speaking here. Uh, hurry, hurry, hurry. We don't have to rush. Well, speak for yourself. His low laugh has my whole body clenching. Hercules catches me around the waist and pulls me closer with one arm, while he uses the other hand to position himself at my entrance. Uh, I'll go slow. I don't want you to. I slam down on him, and holy shit, maybe I should have given myself a little bit to adjust, this, adjust to his size. I rock and writhe, but he bands an arm around my waist and seals us together completely. Meg! He sounds just as desperate as I feel, and boy, does he sound like a fucking weirdo. I run my... <laughs> I run my hands up, up his chest to meet his gaze. His blue eyes have darkened to near black, as if his iris swallowed all the color up. Gone is the sweetness that attracted me, repelled me in, equals, in equal measures. Why does he have that voice? That was originally Hades' voice, but I've got a different, I got a different plan for Hades. So, uh, just to, <laughs> just to make it more fucking stupid. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that voice. Because uh, it, it, it brings me out of it too. Like, I, I can't get invested with a voice like that. Fuck it. I don't know. It just makes me laugh. I, ha I, <laughs> I have to do it. Um, <laughs> this creature is all man. And he's more than a little smug as he takes in my expression. I can only begin to guess what he sees written across my face, but it pleases him. The voice man, it's 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 a voice. I'll give you that. It is a voice button. -y. It's a whole voice. I want you to fuck me. My command comes out a little breathy, but I can't help it. Not with him filling me up so perfectly. Oh, oh yeah, I'm fucking you. I roll my hips. Managing a tiny bit of delicious friction. Not enough. Not for what I need. Not for what I suspect we both need. I take his chin and hold his gaze. Fuck me, Hercules. Hard. I promise I won't break. Now, is Meg, like, a mortal human being? Because, realistically, if Hercules had his strength, and, and he was, you know, go into town, I feel like his strength would... It's like fucking... Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl, except Elastigirl gets away with it from being elastic. But, you know. You know. Food for thought. The words are barely out of my mouth when he pulls me off his cock and all but tosses me down onto the couch off my, on my stomach. Then he's between my thighs again, urging my ass up and guiding his cock back into me. I start to rise up. But his hand on the flat of my back stops me. Dirty boy. <laughs> He's about to spray his Herculade. Fucking watch out. Watch out. He could, Deco. I imagine he could lift a lot of things just with the power of his cock. Like, I feel like he could rest a small city on it. It'd be, it'd be strong, right? God, Hercules, he's got fucking... He's all blood, no brawn. Anyway. He grips my hips and gives me a few ex experimental thrusts, testing me. If only he knew. I shove back against each one. Oh my god, this... Uh, oh, actually, we're almost done with chapter three. Until he's so deep. I'm half sure I can feel his cock in the back of my throat. Yes! That's when I realize he's been holding back because when he starts to move, there's no mercy for me. It's fine. I don't want it. If I wanted something soft and sweet, oh, if I wanted something soft and sweet, but then I never do. This is neither, and it's perfect in every way. 
just down and dirty fucking, each stroke hitting me exactly where I need it. It's been so long since I had anything resembling vanilla, I'd almost forgotten I can get this need met without kink involved, except kink is involved. No, Dico, all he has to do is just swing left to right and he can crack a fucking skyscraper. Alright, yeah? Or maybe just chop the skyscraper in half. Like, I imagine it, it sends out like a a, a... a pulse of wind, you know? Like, he breaks the sound barrier with how fuck it... Moving on. Hercules might not know it, but he's Hades' proxy in this. Fucking me because my sir commanded it. Just like that, I'm coming. My orgasm draws a cry from my lips, and Hercules shoves deep, fucking me in short pumps that draw it out for long seconds. When I think I can't bear it anymore, when I'm about to beg for mercy, he follows me over the edge, my name on his lips. He flops down next to me on the couch. Damn. Damn is right, I murmur. I can't think up. I can't think past the racing in my heart. I didn't expect this. I could have never anticipated it. Did, did I hurt you? I can actually feel his hesitance trying to take hold again. I press back against him with a grin. Not even a little bit. But. I turn and drape over one one leg over his hip. He dwarfs me, and his big hand is settling on my hip makes me feel almost dainty. It would be the easiest thing in the world uh, for him to dominate me physically, but he has this unsure look on his pretty face, as if he expects to be kicked, and not in a fun way. I run my hands up his chest and cup his face. Hercules, you followed orders beautifully. Did they, did they come already? Oh yeah, yeah, no, no, they, they did. That way, that was over quick. Okay, never mind. <laughs> he works at the steel mill. <laughs> Dude, he keeps all the um, he keeps all the wind turbines powered. If you know what I mean. Didn't catch the cum. No, I didn't. I um, <laughs> flew right past it actually. Yeah, that was a. I don't. I hate to say this, but that might have been a bit of pretty pretty small cum because they didn't. They didn't drag it on. It was like, oh shit, and just like that, he's he's coming. That's it. That's all that's all the cum that was in the book. God damn it. I could've I could have he could have come for all he could have could have kept coming. I don't know why it was so hard for me to say. But you know what I mean. I guess he came and went. Anyway. Something in him relaxes at that. And he pulls me he pulls me closer. Though it almost feels like I'm a teddy bear that he's using for comfort rather than the woman he just fucked hard and dirty. I don't mind. Aftercare is part of the process, even if it was an almost vanilla scene. I let him cuddle me and allow myself to enjoy this moment for what it is. There's <laughs> a semi-god. <laughs> Maybe, Deco. Maybe. I, uh, does Hercules have a kid? Like... Just out of curiosity, I don't know if he has a kid. Is it possible to have semi-gods? Eric's cum should fill the room. I feel like with the with the power Hercules exerts, his cum could do a little bit more damage than, than you know, pleasure. But, I mean... Because I'm expecting, like, a dolphin in this book, you know? Anyway. <laughs> nobody, nobody Google that, in case you don't know. Um, anyway. A beautiful man just made me come, and now is looking to me for comfort. No games on his part, no walls. The sheer simplicity of it soothes, soothes me in a way I couldn't anticipate. I stroke my hand down his arm. No regrets? No regrets. He breathes. Well, I just kind of can't believe this happened. I laugh and arch against him, feeling more relaxed than I have been in ages. Oh, it happened. And it was good. Meg. He says slowly. Yes. He reaches between us and drags his hand down the center of my body. Well, I could call you a car. 
He traces me with a blunt finger, pushing aside, pushing inside and dragging my wetness up around my clit. You could. I'm practically quivering as he does that move again. It's nowhere near enough to get me anywhere close to orgasm, but it feels good. So freaking good. Or... He licks in my ear, almost, I, in almost the exact same spot as Hades did earlier tonight. Or, I could eat your pussy again. You stopped me before I was finished with you. I shouldn't. Then again, I shouldn't do a lot of things I really enjoy doing. That's quite the decision to make. I roll, I, I roll onto my back, taking him with me. I suppose it's a reasonable request. Considering how much I enjoyed fucking, or enjoyed you fucking me like I asked, it lasted like a minute. Anyway. <laughs> Some sources claim eight children, my god. I'm not, I'm not too caught up to, um, I'm not too caught up with Greek mythology. <laughs> Load is probably enough for three children. You're not wrong. I imagine they were all triplets, of course. Shit, where was I up to? Oh yeah. Uh, totally reasonable. He urges me high onto the couch I'm sitting. Oh. He urges me high on the couch so I'm sitting. And he's stretched out. Oh. Why is why man? I, I can see Hercules' kink right in front of me. Hang on. I know I'm like a pre-reading a little bit just in case. You never know, there might be a fucking swear in this book. Yeah, he's stretched out between my spread thighs. He gives me a wicked grin that has butterflies with razor-sharp wings erupting in my stomach. Uh, I... I like you, Meg. Jesus, Hercules, pull yourself together. I like you too, Hercules. I can't resist sifting my fingers through his light hair as he dips down and gives my pussy an open-mouth kiss. He was Greek's first true demigod. Why... What? Oh, oh, right, because, yeah, uh, who am I thinking of? Oh, I'm thinking of, like, um, is it Percival? No, 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 that's not right. Uh, shit. Who's, who's the, who? Poseidon had a kid as well, in, in, the, in a similar way that Zeus did. I'm trying to remember who that was. Achilles? Who is Achilles? All I know is his heel is the, you know, the weak point, but, uh, man, I, I, I don't know much about these Greek gods and their, their, their quote-unquote demigods. Triton? You could, you're spitting out some, some mad rhymes at me. I don't know, I don't know these words. I only know them if they're in a video game. And unfortunately, I have not played the recent God of War game, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> okay, buttony. Anyway, I can't get enough of the sight of sheer bliss on his face as he explores me with his tongue. Now that we've both taken the edge off, he's gotten a little better control, but... It couldn't be clearer that he's thoroughly enjoying himself. Pleasure winds through me as I tug on his hair to guide him back to my clit. Make me come again. This time he doesn't tease. He follows my order fucking beautifully, working my clit skillfully as he brings me closer and closer to the edge. He doesn't slow down. He doesn't stop. Simply goes after me with a single-minded determination. I might find a frightening... Oh. The single-minded determination I might find frightening in my pleasure. Uh, wait, fucking goddammit. Single-minded determination I might find frightening if my pleasure wasn't his aim. Yes, Hercules, just like that. Movement out of the corner of my eye has me lifting my head. But Hercules is too wrapped up in licking my pussy to notice. That's why he doesn't see Hades walk into the room. Oh shit, drama. Only the heat in Hades' eye gives away how affected he is by this. But 
I can't begin to say if it's fury or desire, or some combination of both. I open my mouth, but he shakes his head. He simply gives me a small, ma a small smile and mouths a single word. Come. But, you know, spelled C-O-M-E. Just like that. The spell is broken. I begin to move again, grinding against Hercules' mouth as Hades looks on, held helplessly by my sir's gaze. My orgasm hits me with the strength of a freight train, a thousand times stronger than the one. Oh, when it was just Hercules and I. It blows me. It blows my... Sorry, hang on. It bows my back and draws a scream from my hips. The entire world goes fuzzy. Not fuzzy enough to prevent me from hearing Hades say in his mildest voice, And what do we have here? Chapter 4 Anyway. <laughs> See, that's the thing, like... I I don't know if there was more than one Disney Hercules movie, because I think I've only seen the one, and I haven't seen it since I was a kid. So I don't know what, like, what the what the world is like around Hercules. But clearly this Hercules lives in, like, little Tokyo, down in, like, New York City, on Boston Avenue or some shit, but, but you know. There was the TV show. There was a TV show for it? I definitely have not seen the TV show. Not at all. Um, chapter four is only like a couple pages, like two, like two pages. So I'll read chapter four, and then we can get started on Mega Man Battle Network again. I'm curious how this can go on for 26 chapters, though. Like, I wanna, I wanna know, because <laughs> I feel like we're reaching that penultimate moment already. Where he was a teenager? I definitely haven't seen that. Hang on. Let me look it up real quick. Hercules Legendary Journeys. Wait, is this... Is this right? Pushing limits of Herx kinks. <laughs> well, we're about to hit Hades and see what happens when Hades gets involved. Yo, Hercules The Legend Journeys was an American television series filmed in New Zealand. Oh, shit. Oh my god, I might have, uh... I might have glanced at this when it was on TV, but I don't remember seeing it. I couldn't tell you anything about it. But I feel like I've seen those characters before. What are his pubes like? Deco, he has to have a flaming pubes. He 100% absolutely does. Absolute, without a doubt. All right. Because you know, you know what that's like, right? Um... But that guy from My Hero Academy, who's got, uh, what's, what's his name? The, the fucking current number one hero. He's got the, the flaming hair and shit. Um, and he's got like a flaming mustache. He absolutely has all of his like body hair on fire. 100% has flaming pubes. 100%. He has to. Now, I don't know if they're like, you know, if that hurts. Doesn't have a fucking hairy sphincter. That's why, I guess that's why he's always, like, cleanly shaven in the, in the, in the movie, right? Because otherwise his whole body would, if he was a Sasquatch, he'd just basically be a ball of fire. Anyway, chapter four is, uh, Hades' perspective on the current situation. I do so love it when a plan comes together. The joy is downright orgasmic, as I watch this boy scramble to cover Meg and himself at the same time. 
as if I haven't seen her in every stage of undress, in every moment of unbecoming, as if she isn't mine the same way my right hand is mine, an extension of myself. Even though I know better, I allow myself to drink in the same sight of them together. I could have waited longer to interrupt, but Meg had her instructions, and she let things get away from her. She always did have a sentimental streak. It's her one downfall, and I'm only too happy to exploit it for our mutual benefit. And what a benefit. Hercules is perfectly made. Part of me wishes I didn't notice that, didn't react to it, but denying myself is never something I bothered to learn how to do. He's all golden muscles and golden hair, and a righteous indignity. I will take great joy in snapping into pieces at the first opportunity. Uh. What, what are you doing here? He's managed to find a shirt. Uh. To ball up over his cock. But it acts more as a tease than anything else. I've already seen it in all of its glory, after all. I raise my eyebrow. Oh, hang on, shit. I just realized. Hades is in the room. Hold on, move move over, Hercules. Move over. God, God damn it, I hate it when OBS does this. I've got to move my little action figures around. All right. I raise my eyebrows. I'm claiming what's mine. I meet Meg's gaze just as I expected. Even with the interruption, she's loose and relaxed in a way she hasn't been in a significant amount of time. It confirms what I already knew. Hercules is a bridge and he will serve his purpose well. But only if I trigger the proper pressure points. I snap my fingers and point to a spot to me. Come, Meg. But not that other kind of come. This is a different kind of come. <laughs> More anti aliasing Deco, these are the best PNGs I fucking found of, of these three characters. I shit you not. I don't know why Hades is like cut out from a, a fucking storybook. And why Hercules has these shitty fucking like spots all around him? Like, there was a there was a fucking like four thousand by whatever the fuck, um, like a drawing of Hercules, and it's just so shit. <laughs> they couldn't even, they couldn't even cut it right. Like, he's fucking PNGs, man. I tell you what. Anyway, Hercules' confusion becomes something akin to horror as Meg slips out from beneath him and walks toward me. No, wh what are you doing? Uh, stop it. She looks almost guilty as she sinks to her knees by my side. But while Meg might entertain herself with fighting me, she loves being mine. Even with her Was that Meg saying that? I don't think it was. She loves being mine. Even with how complicated our relationship has become, how tangled our history, I lay my hand on her dark hair because I know it will infuriate him and incite every protective instinct he has. Good girl. Hercules still looks like he's been hit by a train. <laughs> I'm going to need you to explain what the hell is going on. This man was built for what knighthood was supposed to be hundreds of years ago. Oh. So this is hundreds of years in the future. Oh, shit. A paragon of self-righteousness. A force for good. I monitored him for months before making my move. When I went faced with a helpless creature, he will invariably turn himself inside out in order to offer protection. The trick is convincing him that Meg is helpless, a trait she's never possessed. Oh, dude, Deco, I can imagine. Because I can see the fucking, like, pink outline on, you know, Hercules' Achilles' heel. <laughs> Feather tool. <laughs> oh, 
Oh shit, hang on. Oh wait. Oh, hang on. A mere game, I'm afraid. I keep stroking her hair. It amuses me to send my my Meg to fuck other men and women. And so, I sent her to seduce you. Really, I would think the situation is self-explanatory. You made her fuck me? The betrayal in his eyes is a living thing, quickly followed by fury and... Ah, there it is. The desire to save her from the devil who stands over her. Really, it's too easy. As simple as lining up the dominoes and tipping over the first one. Coffee <laughs> number six. <laughs> Alright, good luck, Butney, and have fun at work as well. I'll, I'll let you know what I think of the, uh... What I think of this next chapter. <laughs> it looks like he's from a cardboard print. He kind of does. That was something that, that I found kind of weird too. He does have a texture on him, which is strange. And I don't know if that's because like... I don't know, somebody took a picture of him or something? Or like... He, he was definitely on something else. Definitely. Do for sure. Anyway, I ignore his question because I know it will infuriate him further. Get dressed, love. I turn my attention to the boy. Oh, he's not really a boy. He's a man. Even if he still has an aura of innocence about him, he has to look for look of he has the look of his father, both in coloring and in features. I wonder what Zeus would say if he knew my plans, and I barely hold back a smile imaging of imagining his rage. A rage that will be his undoing. All in good time. So Zeus is this so uh, okay, alright. So despite like, you know, the, the modernicity of like mobile phones and ramen and whatnot, you know, it's still it's still like I, I, like Greek mythology is there. That's the picture I'm looking. It is Deco. It is. And that's why I, I don't know if it's real. <laughs> like, a like call up Disney or some shit. Like, it's so fucking weird. That's why the Hades picture also confused me because I think that one's also from the wiki, and it doesn't seem right. It's so it's so strange. It's so strange. Anyway, Meg dresses quickly and runs her fingers through her hair. She still looks like she's been fucked within an inch of her life, but she halfway, she's halfway presentable by the time she rises and takes my hand. I bring out laced fingers to meet my lips and press a soft kiss to her knuckle. You please me. Her smile is pained, and she can't help but shooting a look at Hercules. Does she even realize how much this man calls to her? There are, submiss oh, there are submissives aplenty in the underworld, but innocence a far rarer occurrence. When this is all over, my Meg will thank me for the, for the lengths I go through for her. If there's another reason in the mix, well, I am who I am. She finally drags her gaze back to me. Thank you, sir. I lead her out the door and down the stairs and she follows like a good obedient little sub. I know it's coming, and I almost relish the way she she lays into, into me the second we slide down into the car. Oh my god, Llama! Llama, what a, what a time for you to, uh, to join! This <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that one, Llama. And yeah, Deco, it's it's kind of surprising. Uh, Disney's, Disney absolutely has to get a hold of their fucking IPs. All right. Where's the still frames that Disney has? Like, why are they shipping those out? That You're looking at the definitive version of Hercules right in front of you. That's him. That's the guy. Anyway. Um, she lays into me the second we slide back into that. In... 
back it was fucking hell she lays into me the second we slide into the back of the town car what the hell hades you're welcome for what happened or for what appears to be a most satisfying gift her glare can't completely diminish the way she practically glows after her time with him what was that little song and dance about you acted like you own me you rubbed it in his face I'm not ready to discuss my plans. I do own you. Unfortunately, there's no more explanation point horny. Although, I suppose this would be a good time for... Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Before I read the next page, let me, let me explain. Uh, I might have to add horny for this book. If I'm reading more books like this, uh, I might need to bring those commands back. Anyway. Hades! You're such an asshole sometimes. I grab the back of her neck and tow her over my lap. I give you leeway, Meg. I indulge you. Damn it. Let me go. I shove up her dress and deliver two hard smacks to her ass. Tell me your safe word. When she doesn't immediately respond, I shove two fingers deep into her pussy. She's still drenched from the orgasms and Hercules' Hercules's mouth. If I spread it wide, will I taste him there? My cock hardens even further at the thought. I have to close my eyes and fight for control. Soon. Very soon, TM. It doesn't say soon, TM, but I just included it for comedic relief. Tell me. Cerberus. She mutters. That's right. Cerberus. I press hard on her inner wall, just like she loves and writhes for me. The safe word you neglected to use once during our little game. You wanted to fuck the golden boy, and you wanted it me to watch. And when I told you to come, you orgasmed, all the harder for how dirty it made you feel. I know you, Meg. I know your body and your soul. You may play the martyr for the public, but you don't get to play it with me. I hate you. She sobs even as she spreads her thighs wider to give me better access. It's always like this with us. Always a fight to the finish. And even in the soft aftermath of fucking, we still jostle each other with power games. No, you don't. I give you what you need, remember that. Even when you're getting starry-eyed over a waiter. Hercules is hardly just a waiter. Yeah, he's a fucking demigod! Oh my god, no way, Deco. Deco, that's quite the deep dive you took then, holy shit. But that would make sense. That would 100% make, make sense for the texture then. Somebody must have upscaled it then quite a bit. In order to get, you know, all the fucking artifacting and bullshit. That's crazy, though. Huh. The first ever upload of Hercules was that fucking picture. Oh shit, I forgot. Uh, where was it up to? Oh yeah. But... That fact is Im immaritable in the face of this conversation. We've taken our first steps to reclaiming what we once had, even if I have to drag Meg along with me, inch by inch. Tell me, thank you for the spectacular gift I gave you tonight. She pants and writhes, but she's not really fighting to get free. She's struggling solely, so I hold her down and bend her to my will. I spank her again, with my free hand, once, twice, a third time. Now, Meg. Thank you, sir. The words come out, as if a curse. Good girl. I topple her onto the back seat, and move to kneel onto the floorboards. You performed marvelously, mar marvelously. Would you like a reward? She bites her bottom lip. Like she wants to tell me to fuck off again out of sheer perversity. But desire overcomes all else. At the end of the night, 
I've given her exactly what she needs, and she knows it. Meg pulls her dress up higher. Yes, sir. I would love my reward now. Check a pattern for the background. Same, Deco. I almost grabbed a, uh, just, just, the, just the proper, like, full artwork of all three of them as opposed to a PNG. But I gotta tell you, the only, the only good PNG here is, is the Meg PNG. Well, okay, actually, on closer inspection, I don't know. It's the only one without any, like, any bullshit. Because, oh, Hercules is gone, by the way, I almost forgot. Because the, the Hades one, you, you can see how fucking jaggedly shitty it is. But, you know. It's the same bullshit with the Hercules one. That's that's true, Deco. That's true. But I feel like if Disney, you know, just had their own versions of the characters, I mean, like, there should certainly just a higher quality of those images by now, surely. Anyway, she bites her bottom lip like she wants to tell. Oh, yeah, hang on. That's what I thought. I smooth the hand down her stomach and part her pussy with my fingers. She's pink and swollen from what she's d what what she's done. I pin her in a place and drag the flat of my tongue over her. Meg lets loose a whimper and reaches behind her to grab the headset. Doesn't doesn't Hades have like a fucking you know actually on close inspection to Hades? Why does he have a fucking like crimson chin? Anyway, uh, doesn't he have like a fucking super long tongue though? What the heck? They're not sharing. <laughs> oh, Deco, this is gonna be like a full-on. From what I, from what I've heard, um, everybody wants to fuck everybody else in this book. So, I can, I can sort of imagine why there are twenty-six chapters. But why not just get it all over and done with in the restaurant? Why are we like, why are we dancing around? Hercules has clearly said in his chapter that he wants to fuck Hades. Hades also says he wants to fuck Hercules. Meg wants to fuck them both. Like, why don't they just... Why are they going back? Why don't they just do it now? You know? Why are they, they teasing? Oh, big, what'd you get it over with? See, they're going to save that for, like, chapter 25. That's when they're going to have the big orgy. All right. I don't know what happens between then. Probably somebody's going to get his cabbages stolen and Hercules is going to have to save him, but we'll see. Anyway. I can taste him on her skin. I can smell him on her skin. I wedge my hands up beneath her ass and lift her closer to my mouth, devouring her with a ferocity bordering on frenzy. Even as she screams her way through an orgasm, even as I replace her on this, replace her on the seat, and she opens my slacks to withdraw my cock. Even as she rides me in slow, decadent strokes, I can't say for certain if it's jealousy of Hercules that spurs me on, or desire for him. Exchange of positions. It's you know what you know what it is, Deco. Also, that's the end of chapter four. So I'm gonna chapter five is Hercules. Hercules being blue balled in the fucking restaurant, having to gather his things. We'll come back to that next time. Um, what I find a little a little strange though is uh Hercules is Hercules came in like one sentence. Sorry, less than a sentence. That was it. Like, I thought that was going to be, like, the penultimate moment, you know? Like, oh, shit, he's going to be fucking... He's going to... He's going to be busting his fucking Her Herculade, like, all over the place. Like, they're, like he's going to be fucking covering Megan like a bukake, And then, like, all of a sudden... Not, none, none of that. <laughs> that didn't happen. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> Unbelievable. I feel like Hercules would fucking have a waterfall coming out of that fire hose but uh you know it's taboo in fanfics absolutely it's just not there Diego. it's just not there it doesn't exist <laughs> which is why i'm curious to to read more into this because like surely there has to be like 
uh, a page where, like, you know, someone's coming for, like, a whole page or two. Like, maybe even a whole chapter of fucking come. I don't know. But, like, <laughs> it's... I mean, like, where's the cum chapter, you know? All these guys have got their own perspectives. I want the cum perspective. But, um... I also would laugh if there was, like, this, like, side character that got kind of his own chapter just for, like, one thing to explain his perspective on the situation. The last few chapters are real sticky. Oh, my God. You know, we're about a tenth of the way through the book so far, so we're getting there. Chapter-wise, we're a little bit further than that, though. Comes <laughs> in for a quick bang. <laughs> Fucking Hermes riding in real fast. Everyone's everyone's getting involved. You know, they all just happen to be here in the underworld. <laughs> Where the, where the fuck is Medusa in all this? Isn't Medusa like a big important figurehead in the underworld? I need fuck it. I need Medusa here. Anyway, thank, thank you Persona 5 music. <laughs> 